CTE is a progressive degenerative brain disorder that affects a person's mood, behavior, and ability to think. CTE stands for chronic, traumatic, encephalopathy. Encephalopathy means a disease affecting the brain. Symptoms for the disease were identified in boxers as early as the 1920s. Back then, it was called punch drunk syndrome. More recently, scores of former NFL players were diagnosed with CTE after physicians and researchers examined their brains during autopsies. Scientists are still trying to figure out how exactly CTE happens. Here's what we know so far. CTE appears to be associated with both concussions and less severe head trauma. The disease has emerged in people who frequently experience head trauma, including athletes and military veterans. CTE transforms the brain in many ways. Specific areas of the brain become littered with deposits of a protein called tau. They bunch together in what's called neurofibrillary tangles. The frontal and temporal lobes are affected. In a brain with CTE, both the hippocampus and the amygdala, which control memory and emotion, shrink and waste away. The substantia nigra, a darker area of the brain involved in movement, is paler in brains with CTE. This also happens in the brains of people with Parkinson's disease. Symptoms of CTE are not seen until years after the person has recovered from the brain injury. Patients may experience a range of symptoms. Over time, the symptoms worsen, and patients may have difficulties with speech and movement. Eventually, the problems become so severe, the person develops dementia. Right now, there is no way to diagnose CTE in a living person. The only way to confirm CTE is looking at the person's brain after death.